Thank you for joining this evening, the regular scheduled council meeting of the Park City City Council, January 10th, 2017, at 7 p.m. Dana, would you call the roll? Here. Here. George Glover. Here. Gary Aldrich. Here. Melvin Kerr. Here. Tom Jones. Here. George Caps. Here. Joel Humphrey. Here. Jim Schrader. Here. Mr. Mayor, you have a quorum. Thank you. Tonight, Councilman Member George Glover is going to lead in the invocation, and Councilman John Lynn here is going to lead in the pledge. Everybody, please stand. <coughs> That's right. Father God, we just thank you for tonight. We ask tonight that our hearts and minds be united in serving the people of Park City. We ask for guidance and wisdom and discernment in uh, serving the people of Park City, Lord. Give us uh, that wisdom that we, we need at this point. So we just lift the people of Park City. If there are any needs out there tonight, whether somebody needs a job or needs a place to stay or just needs a, a service of some sort, that we're able to provide that for them. And we just lift, lift the people of Park City up to you tonight in your name. Amen. Amen. I have a pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thank you. you. may be seated. <clears throat> the next item on the agenda is approval of the agenda. Jim? Move that we approve the agenda. Is there a second? Joel? I'll second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Not seeing any further discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And the motion passes 8-0. We don't have anybody signed up for a public forum this evening, so we'll move on to our staff reports, and we'll start with our city administrator, Jack Whitson. Jack? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, my, my report will be fairly short. Uh, I sent all of you a, uh, a copy of the bidding documents for the manhole re rehabilitation. I uh, got that finished and out, and hopefully by first meeting in February, we'll have the bids back uh, at that time. Also, uh, uh, City Hall, a uh, couple of items, the AV system and security system is out for bids, and hopefully we'll have some numbers for maybe your next meeting. <coughs> yeah, excuse my coffee. Um, uh, Tom brought up a deal a few years ago, maybe five years ago, about uh, water meters and getting them where you don't have to go buy and read them all and stuff. And the technology was sort of there, but yet highly uh, expensive. Uh, you had to buy certain meters in order to do it. You couldn't mix them or anything. Well, I found out uh, that Verizon has a system now. Uh, they can match any, I'm quantify that, just about any meter by changing the head on them. And uh, so I'm asking them for a price to see about changing out all of ours. If we don't, at least 100 that we're buying this year, we'll go ahead and do it. Um, it's a fantastic system. For example, uh, a resident can have a app put on their phone and they can monitor their own water. Uh, it'll tell them if they have a leak or not, how much part of their bill is to pay for the leak. And uh, it, it's just really a nice system. And it integrates well with our accounting software. So we'll be reporting back to you further when, when we have cost and stuff. That's about my report. <coughs> Does anybody have any questions for Jack? Not seeing any. We'll move on to our Director of Public Works, Rick, Nor Rick Norman. Rick. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Public Works report for this evening, January 10th, 2017. Uh, in the Park Department, would like to remind everyone that the Christmas tree drop-off location is still open until the 23rd. Uh, county sponsors that. We may have a dozen or so trees and they've started mulching that so if anybody would like a little bit of mulch there's some green evergreen mulch up there maybe have a cubic yard or so. Uh, that is open until January 23rd. We did get the angel tree down and the decorations here at City Hall in the Senior Center. 
On uh, December 30th, the community building was roofed, re-roofed. And the street department, uh, in the road right of way of Broadway, on the west side, south of 49th Street, we had a a little bit of an embankment that we had to cut down so that water would not stand on the road and flow to an area drain. We did get that cut out and uh, uh, so the water shouldn't stand there now. Have been working on sign repair and replacement. We've had six locations where we've had to repair or replace regulatory signs or street signs. We do have a security feature on that which makes those a little bit more difficult to uh, we like for those to stay on the post. Uh, we have started to do street sweeping. It's pretty normal for us to uh, sweep this time of year. The areas in between the storms that we get a little buildup of sand at the, primarily at the intersections. I think uh, the last storm was December 17th, 18th. We applied about 30 tons. <coughs> Most of that was applied with the two one-ton trucks that uh, we recently purchased. That we got that we didn't have the we didn't have to use the plows too much on this, but we did use the spreaders. Some of the parts come loose, and we got that resolved. But the guys really like using this the new equipment. Controls were tight. The hydraulics were tight, and uh, the characteristics of the storm was such that it didn't come down really heavy, so we did get to utilize those trucks a lot. But we did start to sweep, pick up some on the arterials. We had a couple sections that uh, uh, leaves had built up on the side of the curb. We got those picked up, uh, and we're also prepared for this weekend. We have an upcoming storm in the forecast, it sounds like. Um, the water and sewer department, the uh, average work orders per day for December was uh, 24. I'd be glad to answer any questions. Does anybody have any questions for Rick? Oh, thanks, Rick. Okay, that brings us to our next item on the agenda, which is the consent <coughs> agenda. Jim? I move, <coughs> excuse me, I move that we approve the consent agenda. And Gary? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion passes 8-0. That brings us to item A under new business, which is consider a resolution authorizing the sale and conveyance of certain properties to Alps Real Estate, LLC. Jack? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The uh ALS is uh, at the end of their IRBs, and so which is standard, we then release the title back to them since there will be no further tax abatement, and this takes care of that. Okay. Tom? Okay, so what they're paying off the debt, and we're going to transfer the property to them. It's been in our name. Correct. I'll make a motion we approve that. Okay. Gary? Second. John? I know this is, some of this has been uh, figured up, but what, any idea what the uh, taxing impact is on, on us annually? Uh, without, we can get that for you and have a solid numbers at the next meeting. Uh, Dana, can you write that down for Daniela? Thank you. Okay. We have it a... It wasn't for the entire building. It right. was only for, Retail? Uh, yeah, the retail was excluded. So. Right. All right, we have a motion and a second. Dana, would you call the roll? Tom Manier. Aye. George Albert. Aye. Gary Aldrich. Aye. Melvin Kerr. Aye. Tom Jones. Aye. George Capps. Aye. Joel Pumphrey. Aye. Jim Trader. Aye. And that, that motion is, passes 8-0. That is resolution number 950-2017. I now call agenda item 8B, which is case number Z, 2016-02, 
This is for the rezoning amendment requesting a change from the present C2 service business district to the R3 multifamily residential district. Before we proceed, I'll ask the council members if any of them intend to disqualify themselves from discussing or voting on this case because they have conflicts of interest or a particular bias in this matter. Okay. Has the clerk received any petitions on the case? I now ask the council members if they have if they have all had all received copies of the unapproved minutes of the planning commission for the November 21st, 2016, which summarizes the hearing on this case. Yes. Okay. After the zoning administrator's report, I'll ask that the applicant and the public who may wish to speak on this item, I now call on our zoning administrator, Jack Whitson, to provide us with a brief background report. Jack. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I think we've been talking <coughs> for quite a while about the apartments for Echo Hills. Uh, what this zoning does is allows that to move forward and uh, makes it uh, uh, right now it, it is uh, commercial and will change it to multifamily residential so that apartments could be uh, placed on that particular site. To refresh your memory, uh, it backs up against the uh, Wichita Valley Center flood control, and it will be west of what we hope will be the outlet mall. Uh, there was no one protesting uh, against the action. Uh, there were 17 factors of fact that the Planning Commission went through, and they do recommend that you accept those and approve the zoning. Okay. Mr. Loveland, do you have anything else you would like to present to the council? Uh, not this time, unless there's some questions. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Mr. Loveland? No. I was going to make a motion we accept the 17 factors fact from the Planning Commission. Real quick, I'll just ask if anybody from the public wants to address oh, this. Go ahead, Tom. I would make that motion. That we uh, approve the change or uh, accept the 17 Packers. Okay. Jim? I second. Oh, sorry, that. John. Oh, second. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So let me read the, the by a majority vote. Uh, the council must move to adopt the findings and factors and recommendation of the Planning Commission on this case and to approve the ordinance number, or by a two-thirds majority vote to override the Planning Commission's recommendation, describe in detail the findings and factors supporting the motion, and attach appropriate conditions, if any, to approve with the ordinance, or by a majority vote return the recommendation to the Planning Commission for further consideration at its next regular meeting with a statement specifying the basis for the Council's failure to approve or disapprove the recommendation. We have a motion on the floor to accept the 17 findings of fact that the Planning Commission has approved. Dana, would you call the roll? John Lanier. Aye. George Glover. Aye. Gary Aldridge. Aye. Marilyn Kerr. Aye. Tom Jones. Aye. George Capps. Aye. Joel Pumphrey. Aye. Jim Schrader. Aye. And that passes 8-0. Your ordinance number is 1018-2017. Thank you. All right, that brings us to our next item on the agenda, which is consider the proposals for the repairs to the Pride building. Um, Pride has uh, came to us and addressed some concerns with the building, uh, having some issues in there. Bob is not here this evening, but Bob and I went out to the building. We looked it over. And we, we, we actually thought the repairs would probably turn out to cost more than what they currently did. Um, our recommendation would be that we accept client <coughs> construction's bid for the 7250 and go ahead and get the work completed on the building. Tom? I'd make a motion we uh, approve the uh, mayor's recommendation. And Joel? I'll second. <clears throat> Are there any questions? Melvin? Is, is a building worth that or do we need to move somewhere else or? Well, I think uh, 
or is this cheapest route is repairing the building and okay. you start talking about another building the cost is going to greatly increase from where we're at now um, i know it's kind of secluded and i don't know if they'd get better returns if they went somewhere else after i think we're going off of the, what they ask us to do is that okay. we'd fix a building and that's okay. what we've sought out to do here is to get the building repaired for them. okay we have a motion and a second i do have a john question, i guess the funding of this did you say i'm sorry i was reading through the bids here jack you got the funding source because we know where this is coming uh, you're not coughing so <laughs> go ahead <laughs> stolen <laughs> um, don't know for sure but we'll find a spot to, uh, in the budget to cover it the the one wall uh, they what they did was they built bookshelves through the wall that <coughs> exceeded to the outside mm -hmm. and if you've been there it's got nothing but windows there and they're all leaking and right and we're talking about the funding source and and where that's coming from the, the fallback is mtb funds what we're trying to keep from saying we're trying to find a spot within the budget to do it but we don't have money budgeted for this item this is an they extra MTB money. right mm. can't find other sources okay thanks thank you we have a motion and a second all those in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. opposed and the motion passes 8-0. Tom? I have a question on item B. All I did is make a motion to approve the 17 factors, and it says an ordinance or an ordinance. So what are we doing there? We've done it both ways before, and we've been told to separate them, and I separated it. So I need a ruling from is our attorney. I don't know if I made the motion right or made enough of a motion. Well, it was restated to include the ordinance, and there was a roll call vote, and it's 8 0, and I, and, and I believe it's sufficient. Okay. okay. I just want a clarification. Thank you. <coughs> that was the last item on the agenda, so now we're ready for governing body re remarks, and we'll start with Jen. I have no remarks tonight. Joel? Nothing. George? I, I just got one thing. Uh, the, uh, this building. When, when do you think we're going to be out of here? This building? Yes. Well, the, uh, the new building should be available second week of May. So we just have to funnel how long it's going to take us to transition from one to another. Well, don't we have a realty agent who sells property for us? Yeah. Why? I'd like to see us start now and maybe put it out there at this building be available in june well if you remember we already approved getting um the appraisals done for this building and for the other building that the maintenance and the police stations in so we're in the process of getting that done so we gotta wait well we want we don't want to put it out there until we have an idea of what we think we can get for it well i, I was just curious if there's any interest in it there has been some interest so we've already had several people ask about okay. this building, that, actually both buildings. That, but we want to make sure that we're getting the right dollar amount, which is why I'm waiting on the appraisals. Okay, that answers my question. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks, George. Tom? Uh, construction zone on 53rd Street. That's the hotel coming out of the gas station and also on the primrose. That's a private road, but there are no yield signs. There's no stop signs out on 53rd Street off that new intersection and they've never installed them and they've left so i just wonder if we're going to sit there all winter with no stop sign coming out of the, the driveway uh, the other thing is is that uh, the construction zone goes to the bridge on the west side but does not start until in front of the hotel on the going east and so you've got kind of misrepresentation a 30 mile an hour speed limit on one side and 40 on the other side of the street um, and no construction going on. So I just wondered if we wanted to identify something with that too. That's KDOT, but uh, Rick will, will certainly check on the uh, But I think there's something that the construction crew left undone, and it really ought to be looked at. So. We'll talk to the inspector. Okay. 
That's it. Yeah, thanks. No, I don't have anything. Gary? Have nothing this evening. George? No, not tonight. John? Um, I don't have anything. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Tom, second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And the motion passes 8-0.